Hi everyone, we'll discuss discus in a more detailed overview in this video. We'll be discussing mostly domestic strains. The first strain is a very beautiful, brilliant turquoise, recognized by its obvious spacious pattern and the classic turquoise look. This pattern is full out throughout the body. The red turquoise the red turquoise has horizontal stripes, uh, very spacious, connected, and you also see the bars. Uh, the red turquoise also has a higher percentage of red in the body. The red scribbled has a very high percentage of red compared to blue, and also has very little stripes, only in the fins. The red scribbled mostly has fine dots in the middle of its body. Tiger turquoise is one of my favorites, easily recognizable by the vertical stripes. The pattern goes vertical, almost similar to that of red turquoise. However, sometimes the lines can be broken with dots in between, but you'll get the general idea of a higher percentage of vertical stripes, which makes this the significant tiger turquoise strain. Solid turquoise, also known as ocean green, the picture says it all very greenish minty tint, especially in natural light or in office light. Sometimes turquoise green can have a little bit of markings in the surrounding halo area of fins and also in the face, almost like that of a cobalt. Ooh, cobalts to die for! A deep cobalt color blue, very dark color. They have markings in their face and also in the fins. Please note the bars are spacious. It's not like snake skin with a few bars, it's spacious bars in between. Cobalts also have a significant black stripe going through the eye. Often, pattern can repeat throughout the body. It can stretch right through the middle of the body as well. Blue diamond! Oh, so beautiful! Diamond is pure, there are no markings anywhere in the body. Not in the body, fence or face, nowhere. Blue diamonds can have red or yellow eyes. Blue diamonds are sometimes called cobalts in the east, but here we like to call them diamonds because of their solid, plain color. Snake, snake! Oh, these discus are beautiful. I love their fine pattern, but what actually defines a snake skin is the bars in the body. They tend to have 9 to 14 bars in the body, whereas your normal turquoise or cobalts or other colors have only 7 to 9 bars in their body. Snake skins have thin, thin, light stress bars that run across the body and the eye very narrow and close to each other. The red snake skin, obviously, as you can see, has a higher percentage of a reddish brown and then a percentage of blue pigment in the body. Snake skin blue is pretty obvious. It's a nice, stunning light blue and very fine pattern. Also note, snake skins have very fine lines in their face compared to your cobalts, which have more rougher or bigger or more spacious markings in the face. Snake skins love to have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful display of fine pattern in their faces. I put fine line snake skin as a separate category because, wow, it really is a well-developed and beautiful, gorgeous strain. It's so fine that the pattern almost goes between the scales. It's really, really stunning and often this pattern goes in a horizontal manner. Solid snake skin borders on that of blue scorpion. Basically, the snake skin bars are visible, the body in the center is solid with little to no pattern, and the surrounding halo and fin area and facial area has markings. This is absolutely stunning. Solid snake skins can be more greenish, but mostly a very light blue color. 